All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I manage layers when I'm doing digital graphic recording. So let's start by reviewing the reason why we would use layers. If you have something on your canvas and you wanna isolate it and make sure it's not affected by any of the other content, you would wanna create a separate layer for it. Together, they make up the whole image, but each layer holds a different piece of the puzzle. So if you're thinking, why would I use layers? There might be parts of your canvas that you don't want to accidentally modify. When you're doing live recording, layers can really help you out in making sure that you have things organized and you know where the content is. So once again, I try to keep it really simple when I'm doing live recording. And if I have too many layers, I can get lost in what goes where and it all turns into a mess. So I like to start by creating a layer for my title. I have my title already done here and I'm gonna open up my layers menu and you can see that this layers title is on layer number one. So once I create a layer, I like to name it. Otherwise, it can be confusing as to what's what. So by just tapping on the layer, let me demo that again, I'm just tapping on the layer, you get this little menu that pops up. And the first option here is rename. So I'm gonna rename this title. If for some reason you make a mistake and you wanna throw away the entire layer, you just swipe right and then you can delete it or you can duplicate it if you wanna make another copy of it. And the other functions that you have with layers apart from swiping right are just tapping on it and then you have some options that pop up there. The next layer I like to create is for my colors, my color blocks or shading. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer by clicking on this plus sign here. I'm gonna rename it colors. And if I'm using a couple of different colors, I might do a separate layer for each color. It really depends on what I'm doing. And for the most part, I like the colors to be underneath everything so that if I'm doing a color block, I would want that color to be under the text. So I'm gonna move the colors layer and I'm just doing a long press and hold and then I can move it right below the title. So here's where I might take this um, lighter yellow and I might just do a quick circle. And I wanna fill this circle with color. So I'm just dragging the color from the color picker right here. If for some reason your shape is not connected, the color will fill everywhere on the screen. So if that happened, that's why. So again, because I have my color layer below my title, it's not going to cover the letters. Let's just try it if it's above. You'll notice that then the color block goes over the letters, which I don't want because then I can't see them. So I'll put that under there. So next I'm gonna create a layer for my text and my images. And I like to keep my text and images together on one layer because it just takes too long to switch back and forth between those two layers when I'm in the middle of recording a live conversation. So my next layer is going to be my text and images layer. Okay, and I would write, I would draw on this layer. And here's where layers really come in, into play. So if I wanted to draw a piece of paper let's say right here, and I wanted it to be under the S, right? So I want it to kind of look like it's underneath the S. Because this is on a separate layer, I can just erase this part without modifying the S at all. If these were on the same layer, I would be erasing that letter S and having to redo it. So that's where the power of layers really comes in. Really wonderful to not have to affect something while also still being able to create another piece of content and alter it and modify it and move it. So if I wanted to move this over slightly, maybe I wanna have it lower down here. I don't have to affect the title at all. So again, text and images, I keep on the same layer with the exception of if I'm creating an anchor image or some kind of decorative lettering that is more detailed, then I might wanna have that in isolation of the other text and images. Okay, let's check out some of the other things you can do with layers. So let's say I wanna move an image and I've already added color to it. I wanna add color to this sheet of paper here and I am on my color layer here adding this color. Okay, so I'm just coloring this in. I might add some 
lines here. I wanna move this sheet of paper, but I also wanna take the color with me that I just added. So if I open up my layer menu, I'm currently on the color layer, but I wanna move the text and images layer along with the color that's underneath it. So I've already got this one selected. So I'm just gonna do a quick swipe to the left on the other layer that I want to select. And you can see that both of those are now highlighted. So now that I have both of those selected, I can go back to the canvas and go to my selection tool. And I just wanna select this piece of paper and the color right underneath it. And I'm in a little bit of a tricky spot because it's really close to that first circle. But now that I have it selected, I can click on the move tool and now I can move both that paper and the color underneath it. So I can move things from two separate layers by selecting them in the layer menu. You can also merge layers if you want the content on one layer to be merged with the content on another layer. So the thing that you wanna make sure of is that the layers are next to each other in the layer menu. And then you can tap on one of your layers. So say I wanna merge the piece of paper with the title and go to merge down right here. And once I tap that, then I'll see that my title is now merged with this little sheet of paper. And a way to test this out, if you just wanna double check what's on each layer, is by clicking on this little box here that will hide and reveal the layer. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you is that you can easily move the contents of an entire layer by selecting the layer you wanna move in the layer tab. So let's say I wanna move this sheet of paper, it's selected. I can then go up to the move tool right here and it will instantly grab my sheet of paper. So notice that the color did not come along with me because I did not select the color layer. And if I had done that, let's say I had selected the color layer and click the move tool, it would move all of the colors. So it would move that yellow circle as well. So if I didn't want to move the yellow circle, we would do what we did previously where we would make sure both layers are selected, but then we would use the selection tool to really choose what contents on the layer we wanted to move. Okay, that should give you a jump start on using layers in Procreate.